welcome to the SOLIDWORKS beginner tutorial. Today we talk about the sweep feature. So the swept boss and the swept cut will work exactly the same. What we can do at the end is we can, for example, lay a wire over a body in the linear way, or we can also let it follow along a path in the three-dimensional direction. So this is exactly what we will take a look at. But for this, I will delete the features which I just created. So yes, delete all and delete the sketches and start from zero. So what we have here is the basic body and we want to lay wires on the top of it. So for this, we go in the front view because we have here through the body the front plane on this direction so we will use that one from the beginning so normal view draw a sketch and we can for example go into this feature or into this um, spline sketch we can start drawing something and let's say the wire goes up here and over the body and then step by step, it's just a visual component at the moment. So let's finish it over here. Correct it a bit that it looks like laying on the floor. And here it goes for the moment too high. It should nearly touch the corner over here. Maybe it's a bit too close now in this case. So we will just see it right now. So what we can do is we can use sweep bosom base. We can say circular profile, then we don't need a profile. It's just a round one, a circular. And we can select a curve and it will draw this wire over the body. So if we want to have a special shape running in this, then we need actually in the first round a reference geometry and the plane. So we will do a plane on this level and we need a second reference. So we want to have it directly normal on this curve that we have the right orientation to draw something. So right click on this plane, create the sketch and let's take a square in this point so i need a centered rectangle and for example we can go with this type of shape we can also make round corners for sure now it's too big so let's see how it looks here looks already better and it doesn't matter which shape you start to draw, it can go along the spline with every type of shape. So we are done here and we are ready for the first sweep boss. So sketch profile is this one here and the spline is this one and it will go with exactly this shape along the line so like we know from the front view we want to have it laying more or less on the body so we go back into the sketch we make it visible because like that we can have access to all these elements which are a part of the spline we can let it touch the body for example here and also over here we want to nearly touch the body to lay it on the top of it so like that we are already closer to update the body it's still yellow now we can rebuild the model and you see it's nearly going over the body which looks quite fine but now this is the most simple one. I hide this in this case. 
what happens when we want to lay a wire on the top of the body but it should make some uh, curves in the other direction for this i like to use the curve projected curve so i will just show you how to do it we use again this one from the front view and from the top view we need to draw now a different spline so let's make a sketch from top view pick the spline again and now this time i will start to go like that maybe come back a bit and then go in this direction out <clears throat> so actually now this spline is fully in the body which is not our preferred way we want to have it also floating on the top so we close the sketch and we want to make a projected mapping of these two curves so go into the project curve pick one of them and pick the second one and what you see now is it will make a three-dimensional curve which is completely following the path from top but also from front view so like that we make the projected curve we go out of it and in this case we don't use a special body but we can do it for sure we just go to keep it simple with the circular profile we select the curve and it will make exactly what we wanted to achieve at the beginning now it's a bit more thick so let's turn it down to five to bring it on the same thickness like the first one and like that we can use the sweep feature i deactivate 3d curve that it's not visible i also take out this line from the beginning and like you see now the wire is laying more or less on the body it's floating over the body and it goes in this three-dimensional three way back to the ground and like that we can work this is one example for the sweep body and for sure there are many other options how you can use it in my case usually i make wires with it to make it very simple to follow a path so this is basically how you can use the sweep functionality exactly the same is with the revolved cut so we can directly take a look at it because i can delete this i can bring the 3d curve again in front and now we will go to cut along the sweep so circular profile which check again we take this one and now for sure we need to make it a bit bigger so let's go with 20 and like that we can cut out the shape of something else now it would definitely make more sense to have it exactly following the path so we could work more details to make some holes in here and maybe afterwards lay one wire into this gap in here so basically that's the most important about the sweep boss and the sweep cut so i hope you like the tutorial give it a like follow my profile and thanks a lot